So what is up guys, Killer Gibber, and today back with another episode of Skyrim Mods, and today we're going to be looking at Tyrael's armor. Now if you don't know who Tyrael is, he is out of the Diablo series, he is the fallen angel of that particular series. If you don't know who it is, go and do a little bit of research, it just looks freaking amazing, and also as well on this particular mod, there is a corrupt version and also a justice version, which 9 times out of 10 we almost see the justice version all the time, and I very rarely you see the corrupt version, but uh, it's also in here, so it's really kind of nice. It's obviously a little bit of requirements for this, but as well, you can always spawn those in with player dot add item. So, as always, guys, if you want this mod, it is down in the description below. Make sure to go and grab it. It is pretty damn cool. Um, even if just having it, if you don't know the law or anything in particular on this, you should be able to see this and uh, you'll really enjoy it. Trust me, it looks freaking badass. So, yeah, let's crack on with it. So, we're in the Skyforge next to Dragon's Reach. Uh, so, we'll pretty much go for to make all of our stuff just in case because nine times out of ten, a forge will not have some of the requirements. So, best play it safe and to do that. So, as you can tell, this is the dark elven whatever bloody blade he's got here and obviously it requires uh, ingots straps and danger cards as you can tell it's requirements down the bottom they're not going to list everything on this because it's going to be quite a long winded video because there's a lot of elements to this particular mod so what we're going to do first is actually we're going to create all the sort of corrupt armor and i'll show you all that and then after we've done that we can get all the just armor and so we're just going to make it now so we're going to go through it together so we're going to get the dark blade there as you can tell here, there's a corrupt armor down here. As you can tell by the bottom of the screen, it is there, but I don't know why it's down there. Also, as well, there's two different types here. I'm not too sure what the difference is. Uh, this one's with a hood, and this one is without a hood. The justice one, so the corrupt one, we're going to carry on. And again, totally different on this one, so we're just going to go with it and get all of the corrupt stuff as well, the hoods, and also as well, there should be the corrupt ri rings for the wings as well. So I'm a bit optimistic about the wings, not going to lie. Um, so let's go into weapons first and check out the weapon. Let's have a look at the weapon. Uh, again, a distortion amount of detail on this, which is a nice size to corresponding with the actual character, which we're going to be using as well, which is kind of cool. Does it sit next to us as well? Which it does, and it does look pretty badass. I wouldn't mind a glow to that, but obviously we can't have everything. So that's the weapon. So let's go in and do the corrupt armor here. We're obviously going to take our time through this because there's two different sets in total. So we're just going to go for the top ones here. And we're going to get the wings as well. And the wings look freaking sick. It's exactly what I was expected. The detailing as well is absolutely phenomenal on this. It is absolutely insane. I'm not sure if the wings are sort of uh, static when you go through things. No, they can move through things, which is kind of nice. Might get a little bit irritating though. They are a bit sort of in your face and right next to the screen. So if you could have the possibility of a mod or something that zooms out slightly further away from the character, it'd look pretty cool. But for cosplay-wise and sort of screenshots, it does look freaking sick. And I love how big it dark in the hood as well covers the entirety of the face but just look at the gleam and the sort of detailing of the armor it does look absolutely amazing looks crazy so we're going to try the other set of armor out as well corrupt i'm not sure if there's a difference between the two i don't think there is if i'm entirely honest um no, it's exactly the same. One might be a different sort of a sort of 2D or 4K or something like that. It might be something like that, 2D, 2K or 4K. Apologies, but uh, no, it does look pretty freaking sick. Not gonna lie. And obviously, the smoke is not coming from me. The smoke is coming from the bonfire behind us. So yeah, that is pretty damn cool. So what we're gonna do now is obviously just drop all this, and then we're gonna start making the actual traditional, which you see Tyrell in his justice armor. So without further ado. Let's drop all this and we'll come back in a minute. Okay guys, so we're back. So the weird thing is as well, when you actually drop this, it actually disappears. So make sure you do not drop it if you want to keep it, obviously. If you want to keep it, make sure you store it in one of your chests. Without further ado, let's go down, obviously, to Daedric again and form the Justice Set. Now I'm only going to look at, in particular, sorry, Mimics. I'm only going to look at the sort of just standard set here. So we're just going to get possibly the one, I'm not sure what's going on here. One with Hood and one without Hood. Oh, one is light and one is heavy. I see. Ah, that's the difference between the two then. Very clever. Okay, let's go heavy because obviously we've got a pretty baller character here. So let's go to heavy armor. Obviously the more armor the better, as you guys know. Heavy again. Scrolling through to have a little look. The light one. Go for the hood there. I think the light one as well is included in the hood, which is actually kind of naughty, which is which is kind of good as well, to be honest, because obviously it doesn't need the requirement of having an extra head slot. It just gives the illusion that you have a head, but technically you do not. So let's equip all the justice stuff as well. Obviously grab the blade, which is here. Let's have a little look. Wow, the justice. Ah, oh, it just looks as freaking amazing. 
I'm not gonna lie, apologies, controller just came out, but it just looks freaking amazing. Don't think you can ask for anything more. The amount of detailing on this is absolutely insane. The blade as well, looking almost as fabulous as the other one. The boots, the trim, the leggings, the wings as well look really damn cool. So no, just generally it is freaking amazing, not gonna lie. Uh, I'm really impressed with this. I was a bit hesitant how it would turn out, obviously, with the wings and everything else. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with it, and it does look freaking sick. So, yeah, the, the wing, it just looks great. Honestly, it looks really good. But yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. So, guys, if you did enjoy the Tyrrell armor set, then obviously hit me up with a like and a comment if you want it as well. Make sure to go down in the description. They are always there. But until the next one, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. I'd really do appreciate it, honestly. Make sure to give it a like as well. Plenty more to come. But until the next one, guys, get a care and get a get out.